Hello guys and welcome to another TDS video. Today we're going to be continuing and we're going to Frost Invasion because I did not play during the Easter 2020 or the Halloween 2020. So I don't have those event skins. But I did play during the Winter 2020 slash 2021 event. And it's kind of could be considered both, but uh, whatever you want to do. So we're going to do Portland, I guess, because it's a decent map for Rangers. And I do have Ranger. I'm not going to be doing Fallen Mode because I do not farm. I think the only one where I'm going to be able to do Fallen Mode is probably going to be, um, the Duck E skins because I got some decent towers there. But, um, for right now, we're going down. Oh, and I did forget an event. <sighs> you know what? I'll just do that tomorrow. I just realized I forgot an event. Yeah, it's whatever. So, uh, we're going to do Molten Mode. I uh, just realized we have no early game, so once again, we're going to have to rely on Pyro for early game. Which is kind of just meh. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, Mode. Oh, yeah. And the normal, like usual, just walk past. Yep, they just do that every time. All right, so now we have Pyro. And, like we've seen, uh, twice, well actually this is the second time, but, Pyro just destroys <laughs> the other game. Oh, I don't have any farms. <laughs> so, I guess I should just save up for a golden minigunner then. I'm th probably gonna get it before wave 10. I mean, I'm almost at a thousand already. <gasps> no, one thousand three hundred and sixty-two. So about one third of the way there. Uh, quicks coming through. They just die. Get a bit more money. Need about a thousand more to place. All right, now we just need 500 more, so we're definitely in the clear. But I'm probably gonna have to upgrade it to level one just to be able to deal with the boss, but that shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, we're gonna get enough for that next wave from the wave bonus alone. I'm just gonna upgrade my pyro just so things go faster. Alright, so the boss is coming through. Pyro does a decent amount of damage to it. Then the minigunner starts targeting. And then that dies pretty fast. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, two more bosses coming through. But I have a level 3 pyro and a level 1 golden mini, so that should be fine. Oh, wait. No bosses come through that wave. It's the wave after next wave that more bosses come. Yeah, so these are the normal bosses coming through. Pyro's damage on both, because it oh, well, yeah, it is damaging them both, but not very much equally, but still destroys it. So I think I'm gonna get a commander, like right here. Looks about good. We're gonna get 
the call to arms because that ability is just absolutely busted. I'm not gonna get enough to commander chain for a little bit. Probably gonna get that later into the game once we start getting like a lot of rangers. Speaking of rangers, I'm probably gonna start getting them. I'll probably get two rangers and save up for a level three gold mini, which I think that's a smart decision. Not sure about that, but who actually cares? Yeah, mystery is not even a problem. Oh, right. Remember last time when I got absolutely good RNG? Well, let's see what I said. If what I said last time holds up, are we gonna get horrid RNG? Eh, that's okay. That's actually pretty decent RNG for that. Wow, okay. <laughs> Next time, maybe. Gosh, how am I even gonna... I don't even think it could beat the next one. Like, not even sure. I know. Like, I, would, I was gonna say... I have t two towers, but then I realized I have two towers on the Christmas one. But that one was, like, the two best... One of the the best tower in the game and then a pretty good tower but you see you can't just have the best tower in the game because it's farm obviously but uh, the towers i have next time are medic and pyro so we're going to see pyro early game for the third time and i don't know if medic spam can necessarily beat the molten boss I mean, you can't get stunned, but it's certainly not going to be easy. Hmm. I'll probably use commander ability for this next wave once the slow boss comes out. See if we can get level two. No, 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 I'm just gonna. All right, so we have another one coming out, and our ability is almost done. So we're just gonna. All right, almost there. Oh, just in time too. No, I don't even need that. Alright. So now we can commander chain. Oops.
I'm gonna get another mini gunner just for those hidden bosses. So now that we're getting stronger bosses, gonna need to start upgrading some things, playing a bit more carefully. It shouldn't, overall it shouldn't be that hard. Though I am kind of, no actually, no, I don't know. Next wave's not gonna be that hard. So, we're just gonna destroying these little weaker enemies that come beforehand. Oh, right. There. So now we have that. And now we have Speedy Boss coming through. Speedy Boss gets wrecked, as expected, because Speedy Boss is kind of weak, unless you are just starting out. In which case, uh, prepare to get bodied. A speedy boss is gonna punch right through your defenses. But when you're pulling out golden mini gunners and rangers, yeah. Speedy boss is the lens get that gets bodied. But then we have all these slow bosses. But I think we should be fine. I'm just gonna spam down rangers, get all ten of them. Gonna do that. Oh, we're getting some mystery bosses. Interesting. But, uh, they're just kind of. Oh, uh, oh. Oh. All right. If those spammed speedy bosses, we could have been screwed there. Yeah, so I'm just gonna activate commander, and they've got more big boys coming out. Should probably upgrade this. Now, instead of playing optimally, you should probably show off all the max levels. That's kind of the point of this video. Here, let me just give you a good look at this. Yep. Pretty good. Oh crap. Oh, there's hidden bosses? I'm just gonna leave one of these back there. Of course. All right, good. All right. So, max level frost commander. Pretty cool skin. Yep. Alright, now it's time. 
this. And we just kind of get the max level one before we made 40. No idea how we're gonna beat the 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 molten boss. All right, so just destroying the mystery summoner because that's never an issue. All right. Cool. So. Now that we have all at max level, time to play optimally. Alright, so we got all of them at least level three. Oh, I forgot about mini gunner. There's no reason to have pyro anymore. Alright, won't well, bus spawn. Starting to actually do damage, and he stuns all the commanders, because of course he does. Alright, getting some decent damage on him. Let's activate commander ability. And right, now we have two max levels, which is pretty good. He's dying, so this should be pretty easy. He's on like half HP. He's trying to summon things. It's not really working out for him. The whole molten boss thing, Grace, just being pathetic. You can't stun our rangers anymore, so. Yeah. Molten boss used to be able to stun the cliff towers, but now cliff towers have. Stun immunity, like medic. Wow, no molten titans on that spawn? That's crazy. Yeah, well, we have three max levels. The stomps don't even affect anything anymore, because the only thing attacking him is rangers. Right, that means I should sell these. He's on like one dollars total. 
Yeah, 12,000 HP, so. Shouldn't be that bad trying to deal with them. Dying. Not going down slowly but surely. And he's gone. Yep. We defeated Molten Boss with only Frost Skins. And let me just place down the mini gunner and pyro just so that you get a shot. Yeah. So that will be the end of today's video. Be Grip Verb out.